Hey fruit lovelies, this is LJ Jackfruit on my new YouTube channel, Fruit Vibes. So thanks for watching, and I've got Tara here from 40 Below Fruity. Hey guys. And we're just hanging out, you know, doing fruitarian stuff. Eating, and mostly. A lot of eating. And exercising. Yeah. <laughs> this morning we just did an awesome yoga class, mm -hmm. and we're hanging out now, and just chatting, and I was thinking, Tara, what is, do you think the number one mistake that um, people make when coming to this lifestyle? Um, I'm going to say it. Everyone's going to freak out because there's all these calorie restrictors in the raw movement. The number one mistake mm -hmm. people make is not eating enough. Is, mm -hmm. is not having a mentality of abundance, but instead having a mentality of restriction. Yeah. Because we have so much social conditioning from the diet industry, from our past, from all these books that we read and all these so-called experts yeah. saying that we have to eat less and it's a calories in, calories out, and it's a mistake I made and it's a mistake I see so many people making and unfortunately it's a mistake that ends in total devastation for your diet and lifestyle. It's, yeah, eat enough. Yeah, it's, it's the, it's a simple, simple thing, but we have all this fear around calories, all this fear that we're going to gain so much weight, but it just doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. And your body <clears throat> may, you may gain a little bit of weight at first on this lifestyle. Because I did. your body is grabbing onto these, this beautiful, nutritious food because it doesn't know when it's going to get it again. It doesn't trust you yet. Yeah. You've got to keep eating and eating and exactly. eating the food so it knows it's going to keep, it can keep, it can keep trusting you, right? Yeah. So yeah, it, it may yeah. grab onto it first. And oh you yeah, if you come from anorexia or bulimia weight. or calorie restriction totally. and years of dieting, people want instant results all the time. and. Mm. I see people say, oh, I've been doing this for six months. That's great. Now give it another six months. And totally. then after you've done that, give it another six months. Because yeah. this isn't a quick fix. No. It will never be a quick fix. So if you're looking for a quick fix, lose 10 pounds in a week, this is not for you. No. Definitely not. No. This is a lifestyle. Exactly. And this is one where you can have long-lasting health, long-lasting weight loss. And mm -hmm. I, to me, that's way more important than like instant weight loss right exactly. in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So think yeah. about it. How many years did it take you... To get the body where you're at now, right? Exactly. So it took you that amount of time. So it's going to take you a long time to get the body to change, right? Exactly. If you're 22 years old, it took you 22 years to get the body where you're at now. So how mm -hmm. it, it didn't happen overnight that your body got like that, right? <laughs> so it's going to take some time to change. It does. And I find that when you kind of let go and you can just let your body trust you again and, yeah. and let go of all these stereotypes and all these expectations you have mm -hmm. of yourself, it happens even quicker than you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely, definitely. So then, that being said, mm -hmm. what would you say is an ideal amount of calories? If someone were to say, hey Tara, well, how many calories should I be eating? Yeah. How yeah. many? <laughs> One, two, three, 1,500? Well, see, that's what everybody thinks. 1,500 calories for 1, weight loss. 1,500? Yeah, so about an 8-year-old girl needs about 1,500 calories a day. So mm -hmm. if you're eating like an 8-year-old girl, yeah. you better be laying on the couch all day because you're not going to have enough energy to do exactly. anything. You, you want to work out. You want to be active. Yes. Yeah, that's fruit right there. Totally. And if you, got, if you have kids that you're looking after, if you have some sort of obligation, you have to use your brain to work each day, you got to eat way more than 1,500 exactly. calories. Like 2,500 minimum. If you exactly. want to feel your best. Gosh. Yeah. If you want to thrive, 2,500 minimum. Exactly. Definitely. And I'm so glad you, you mentioned mm -hmm. that because a lot of calories, it doesn't just satis satisfy your physical cravings. It satisfies your mental cravings. Yes. When yes. I eat 2,500 cal calories or more, I am so mentally clear. I'm on it. I'm yeah. on the ball. Yeah. You know? And you feel I'm so focused. good. You're energized, you're happy, you're spontaneous, you're mm -hmm. vibrant, you can do what you need to do and you can be inspired instead of being a zombie. Yeah. Eat 1,500 calories, see how you feel, I bet you'll be a zombie. And you're not going <laughs> to have the motivation to do exercise exactly. when you're eat only eating 1,500 calories, Or right? to follow your passions, realistically. Exactly. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Well, awesome. This has been great. I know. It's, I've been so happy to be here. Um, it is so important to surround yourself yeah. with kind of people. Totally. It's, it's incredible. We just, we were so happy together. Yeah. Yeah. We've had such a yeah. great weekend. Yeah. And we're meeting a bunch more fruitarians this afternoon. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> it will be. Totally. Awesome. So until next time, thanks for watching Fruit Vibes and see you, guys. See you later.